This is Ritesh Srinivasan and in this video, let's look at a collab demo of Code Llama. Code Llama is a family of state-of-art LLMs, which are actually Llama 2 models which have been fine-tuned on code tasks. Right? I had previously made a video on Code Llama. You can check that out. Basically, they have been trained again on code data. Okay. And then there are instruction tuned versions of this particular model. Okay. So yeah, you can look at my previous video. So in this video, let's go to the collab notebook. Okay. So what I've done over here is that I have, uh, you know, uh, installed certain libraries in this collab notebook. So what they say over here in this particular blog from Hugging Face, Llama to learns to code, they say that, uh, you know, you need to install transformers from the main, um, from the main version until, you know, um, transformers 4.33 is released, please install it from the main branch. Okay. So that's what I've done over here. And I've also installed accelerator library over here. And this is a GPU instance. Okay. Right. Um, so once I have installed it, okay, then what I need to do is that from transformers, uh, I have to import auto tokenizers, right? And then import transformers, import torch, and then I can actually create a tokenizer, okay? Auto tokenizer from pre-trained and the model is code llama 7 billion HF. Okay, this is the instruction tuned version of code llama, okay? Then I create a pipeline over here, right? And this is text generation model is this. Uh, and you know, um, this is torch.float16, device map is auto. Okay, so now your pipeline is created, right? And then you can actually create sequences from this pipeline, right? So to the pipeline, we actually pass, uh, you know, our, uh, we want to define a function for say Fibonacci sequence. Right, so we just give this initial text def Fibonacci, and then we want to generate text. Okay, generate the rest of the code basically. So sequences is equal to pipeline, and we pass this Fibonacci. Okay, and we pass uh, you know the other parameters over here. Right, and then we print when we print the sequences. This is the result which is generated. So this, if you see over here. You know, uh, def Fibonacci of n was our input. Fibonacci was input. Okay, so from here, if you look at this, uh, you know, n and then if n is equal to zero, return zero. Lf n is equal to one, return one. Else return Fibonacci. This entire code is being generated by code llama up to here basically, right? So it is as simple as this to make use of code llama. Okay. Uh, maybe I will run it again and show you. Maybe let's make a small change over here and let's run it. Okay, maybe let's, yeah. And it's quite fast also, right? So it is currently generating the output. Let's wait for it. Okay, it's done, right? Now let's see the output. I just made a small change, okay? I just had, you know, up to here. So from here, it is actually generated the code. You see over here, a little bit of syntax is not present over here. It should have been the Fibonacci of n and a colon should have been present over here, right? So it's not present over here. And over here, if you see, it is doing something else, yeah, right? So now you can also do, you know, a generation in the middle, right? You can generate code and fill in the middle kind of code. Okay. For this, what we do is that we define a prefix and a suffix, right? Uh, so you have the prefix and a suffix. Okay. And as part of the prompt, we also send a mid token. So this is the prefix part. Okay. This is the suffix part and this is the mid part which needs to be generated okay 
So the mid part is actually fill in the middle. So this is a method for removing non ASCII string. Okay. Again, what we do is that we pass this prompt. Okay. In the prompt, we fill the prefix and suffix with particular tags over here. You know, this pre, this suffix for suffix, and this is the part which you need mid, which needs to be generated. Okay. So you pass this prompt to this pipeline over here. And if you see, once you run that, okay, right, it actually generates this particular result. Okay. So if you see, this is the result. Remove all non-ASCII characters from a string and up to, you know, up to this, you know, the code between this end of token EOT and mid is the code which you need to filter out and fill in, you know, for your method to be complete over here. Okay. Now maybe let's change this and let's put it as, uh, you know, definition. Again, let's call it as uh, fine. Fibonacci. Fibonacci. And we will say n. Okay. And in the suffix, uh, let's put, okay. Suffix. Let's try this. Right. Copy this. Where were we? We were here, right? Uh, you know, let's put this return and see what happens. Okay. And let's try now what code is getting generated over here. Your code is being generated. Let's wait for it to complete. It's done. Okay, let's see. See, if you look at uh, the middle part which needs to be filled, it gives this code. If n is equal to 0, return 0. If n is equal to 1, you know, return 1. Okay, but why does this give? Okay, did I not? Oh, okay, this is my mistake. This is my mistake. Okay. Okay, let's look at the results. So it has actually generated this code over here. If n less than 2, return n. Okay. Else it, but it is else return Fibonacci of n minus 1 plus Fibonacci of n minus 2. Okay. So this is how you can generate code which needs to be filled in the middle. Right. So here you have code generation directly. This is filling in the middle. Right now you can also do, you know, because this is an instruction tuned model, you can also define a system and a user prompt, right? And you can define your prompt like this, where you have the system prompt first being generated and then you have the user prompt, right? In this particular format, it's not being generated. You are just inserting that system in the prom system prompt over here in your prompt and the user prompt over here like this. And then you can give this to up to the pipeline, right? And now when you, uh, print the output it gives like this provide answers in python write a function that computes the set of all numbers right and it all continuous subs uh, lips of a given list for example it gives this right and it gives diff contiguous sum of list and then it returns set sum of list of ij or i it gives the code basically over here okay right for your problem okay so this is suppose you now want to do you know you want to maintain this into history right you have like a chatbot right you have the system prompt and the user prompt and then this um, you know this model gives out this response and then you want to maintain this history uh, they have explained over here how to do that as well okay which is quite simple basically you have to just keep on appending the answers into the prompt Okay, like this, right? And then you send that final prompt outside after every turn, basically. So it is as simple as this for you to use code llama. This is a 7 billion parameter model and it runs fine on your free collab GPU instance. If you want to run larger models, you need better GPU instances.
I hope this video is useful for you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. I'll be putting the link to this notebook in the description of the video along with the link to this blog page from Hugging Face. See you in another video.